The last time Al Groh was a defensive coordinator, it was in a Super Bowl for the New England Patriots. The former Virginia head coach and Bill Parcells' disciple is bringing a 3-4 defense to Georgia Tech. Being able to bring in a guy with the experience and the, and the history of Coach Groh was more important than changing to the 3-4. That just happens to be his scheme. But Coach Groh, he's energetic. To be, <laughs> to be how he is, you know, he's an energetic guy. You know, during practice, we were doing drills. He'll explain the drill, and he'll really come up and hit you like some people weren't expecting him to do that. But he's, he's a high energetic man, and uh, he's a great teacher. It's a process. It'll take a while to do it, but uh, we'll grind the process out. Uh, yet at this point here now, they put everything into it that we could ask them to do. The process involves changing from a front seven with three down linemen instead of four to four linebackers instead of three, who become capable of doing anything from rushing the passer to dropping into coverage. How about the challenge of coming in and bringing a, a defense like the 3-4 to a team that's been playing the 4-3? What kind of a challenge is that? It's a significant uh, transition for players, the techniques that go along with the schemes in any scheme. It's not just about the scheme, but when the scheme is soundly put together, uh, there's a set of techniques that are tied to that scheme. And uh, when the scheme changes dramatically, often uh, do the techniques or the tools that players are used to using to be successful. With a 3-4, you know, um, the guards are pretty much left up the, um, to the middle linebacker, so we got to take them on like every play. As in the other defense, you know, you feel protected, but... With 3-4, you don't feel really protected because they lined up straight in front of you with no one in front of them. So it's a really big change. Well, I see the smile on your face as you were saying it, but I'm sensing you're not really smiling underneath in some ways. You know, 3-4 um, is the defense pretty much. You know, <laughs> when the guard come off on me, I'm going to come up and hit him. You know, I hit anybody. So it really doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter what, what you're lined up in. If you don't execute it and you don't know how to fix it, you're going to have problems. And... I think what he brings is the expertise and, uh, you know, the scheme, getting guys lined up correctly and knowing how to fix things when they're, when they're going bad. You know, to get to the upper echelon where we want to be, uh, we, we need to play better defense than we've played. With that fourth stand-up player, it does provide us a lot of flexibility and versatility as far as the scheme. But when we go to our obvious pass situations, we really become a different defensive team now, whatever that front might be, 4-3, 2-5, whatever. Uh, when we go to the nickel and dime, now we're playing a different kind of game. Uh, the 3-4 is something that we run, but it's certainly not our exclusive package. The hope at Georgia Tech is that an unpredictable defense added to this offense will bring some predictable results.